Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. So today I am here with a tea part customizing video. So this is Ruyu hair. Um, I purchased it from AliExpress and I decided why not show you how to customize a tea part wig. So a tea part is literally a tea part. You have a little bit of frontal effect and then you have a middle part down the middle. So that's pretty much how a tea part wig is set up and let's hop straight into the video. All right, so to begin, I'm going to be using Shimmer Light Shampoo, BW2 Powder, and a 40 Developer, which processes very quickly. Also, some foam styling wrap. So you want to begin off basically laying the hair down so when it's time to bleach, you won't be bleaching any hair, which will cause some orange action going on, which you do not want. And this is me giving you another view pretty much of how it is. So now you want to begin to pin down. Yes, y'all, bobby pins. But anyway, so now let's go ahead and begin to mix our BW2 and our 40 developer. So when you are bleaching, you want to make sure that you pour a little bit at a time because we want a thick toothpaste kind of consistency so as you can see you see me putting a little bit in at a time because i don't want to put too much and then it's like i don't use all of it because bw2 is not cheap y'all it's not for this little container it's not but you want to pour a little bit at a time because like i said we want to have a toothpaste kind of consistency going on so stir and stir um i ended up adding more but we're just going to fast forward this whole part into the bleaching part <laughs> So as you can see, we are now at the part, oops, excuse the blooper. We're now at the part where it's time to bleach. So a plus that I love about this tea part wig is that it's not much frontal, meaning it's not that much you have to bleach and worry about. So when you're applying your bleach, please go light handed. Do not go heavy handed because as you will see towards the end of the video, I went a little too heavy handed and ended up having some orange action. But anyway, so yeah, please go light handed. Please do not press down too hard um, because you will have to do some fixes. So just continue to watch. <music> So now you will need some tint lace, some black beam spray, some concealer of your color, um, a tweezer, and a rat tail comb. So now we will begin by defining our middle part. Um, it was a little mess after I washed it. So now we're just going to find our middle part and then this will lead us into deciding how and what we need to pluck. All right, so since this is a T part, there's not much hair that I could pull out to pluck because we don't want to pluck too much. And then you will begin to see through the hair and see the tracks. That is something that you do not want to do when plucking um, a T part wig. I realize you need to take your time because if not, you will have that accident where you cannot go back from it. <music> So now it's time to begin plucking and the best advice I can give you for plucking is please do not stay in one spot. You do not want to ball that spot out 
and then of course you cannot go back from that you cannot add hair so please take your time plucking and please continue to comb through and just take your time So as you can see, I decided to go back a little further, adding more hair because I was not satisfied with how the hairline looked. It still looked too full for me um, and not realistic. So I decided to go back and continue to pluck and keep moving my hands back and forth so I do not bald that part out. So at this point, the wig was drying and I was still unhappy with the hairline. So I went around and sprayed the spreads all over and began plucking again to get the hairline that I wanted. So now we're at the point where we're going to begin to kind of here we go again but we're at the point now where we're going to kind of like create our middle part it's there but like continue to pluck it and make it more of a middle part and remember when you're plucking a middle part you want to pluck from the middle do not pluck around pluck from the middle so you can kind of create that space for your middle part now we have a more defined middle part so now we're just going to go in with some high beam spray to kind of like make it look a little neater and not so sloppy looking i guess just um continue to put your rat tail comb over and you will get that more neater look y'all i promise the part is like beautiful but the mannequin just makes it look a hot mess but it's definitely given without the mannequin head <laughs> So now while I have the spray, I'll just begin um, spraying black over the orange hairs that I did mess up when I over bleached. This is also a hack that you could do. Just take um, your black high beam spray and just kind of spray over the hair. Do not be too up on the hair, just kind of spray from a distance. And just repeat the same on the other side. And this is only if you are over bleaching. <music> So now I'm going to take the concealer. This is nowhere near my skin tone, but when I have my stocking cap on, it works perfectly and it is not an issue. It only looks like this because of course it's on a white mannequin head, but I promise you when I have a stocking cap on, it is not this light, you guys. But just go ahead and fill the part out um, with your concealer and then just begin to kind of pat down so it won't be so much of I guess caked up or whatever just begin to pat it and kind of like you know soothe it out
We're finally at our last step and also our most important step is our lace tint. Please, please, please get a lace tint that is near your color. It doesn't matter about concealer, but lace tint, please do that because you don't want your scalp looking kind of funny looking. But yeah, so just spray the lace tint on there. And as you can see, it kind of also hid the um, knots that didn't bleach all the way because T-part wigs, I didn't realize they are hard to bleach. So this lace tint actually did help out a lot and the wig looks more natural looking as you will see in a little bit. So as you guys can see, this is our end result after customizing this T-part wig. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay tuned for the next video.